the mugshot. We've all seen the mugshot. And you know who embraced it more than anybody else? The black population. It's incredible. Former President Trump speaking two weeks ago saying black people like him because he's been hurt and discriminated against. But that is not sitting well with some people. And you may know him from watching the NBA. That is Charles Barkley. But he's not happy with what Trump had to say. And he said so on national television. Here's his reaction. If I see a black person walking around with Trump mugs, I'm going to punch him in the face. Charles. Uh, no, Gil. Charles. Gil. Gil. Gil you, I, you really can't say that because, A, you don't mean that. You, oh, I mean that sincerely. <laughs> I'm going to just tell you something. And then you will be arrested for assault. And then. A few moments later. Now, you know, it's so funny because before I took this show, before we agreed, because Charles and I, we have to say this, neither one of us were looking for another job. And CNN called and they had this great idea, you and I together, which I thought was really fun. And people said, aren't you worried about things Charles would say? And I said to you, you're a grown ass man. You say exactly what you think and you take responsibility for everything you say. Yes. And so it's not like you just willy nilly say stuff for clickbait, right? I always, know, I always know the response. And uh, I always know how much gasoline I'm putting on the fire. Okay. Of course. So in that vein, that clip that you, you all just see, that you all just saw has been seen millions of times, and there have been quite a few articles written about it, and that's before we even get to the social media comments, which look a lot like this gentleman. He's very large. He's wearing a mugshot, or he's wearing a mugshot of the T-shirt, or photoshops of large men wearing the T-shirt that say, I hear Charles Barkley's looking for me. They all think that you are ready to run around punching people who vote for Donald Trump. Now, I know when you say that, that was just you making a point. That's not something you would literally do going around attacking people, right? Well, let me say, is this my camera right there? I want to make sure people can hear me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number one, obviously, I'm not going, going to go around punching random strangers in the <laughs> face, first and foremost. Secondly, people can vote for who they want, want to. to. Yes. People can vote for who they want to. I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. As a person of, of his size, his, his platform, he should not be espousing such things. It's, it's egregious. Uh, he needs to be more careful of the things that he says, and especially since there's a lot of impressionable people who are going to listen to this and try to enact the same thing, which I would definitely uh, um, uh, discourage uh, um, immensely, <laughs> if you will, especially with someone like me. But Yeah, so we got to talk about this situation here with Mr. Charles Barkley. Well, just the other day, he was going to punch MAGA supporters for wearing Trump's merch. More specifically, the shirt with Trump's mugshot, which Donald Trump, he has obviously been selling. It's obviously been selling out. People love his merch. They love him as well. So people are calling him out on this, saying, hey, uh, punch me in the face. Like this guy here we're going to talk about and watch a video about. He's dubbed the MAGA Hulk. I mean, look at this guy. Massive. Huge, huge Trump supporter. Go ahead and punch that man in the face, Charles. See what's going to happen. You're, you're going to like the consequence because he's not only going to beat you down, he's going to sue you and take you for some of your money. You threaten violence and violence is going to come to you just like a magnet. That's the law of attraction. That's how it works in reality. The mugshot, we've all seen the mugshot. And you know who embraced it more than anybody else? The black population. It's incredible. Former President Trump speaking two weeks ago saying black people like him because he's been hurt and discriminated against. But that is not sitting well with some people. And you may know him from watching the NBA. That is Charles Barkley. But he's not happy with what Trump had to say. And he said so on national television. Here's his reaction. If I see a black person walking around with Trump mugs, I'm going to punch him in the face. Charles. Uh, no, Gil. Charles. Gil. Gil, Gil you, I, you really can't say that because, A, you don't mean that. You, oh, I mean that sincerely. <laughs> I'm going to just tell you something. And then you will be arrested for assault. And then Charles Barkley is going to pick exactly who he's going to punch the face. Just like when Will Smith went up to Chris Rock. He knew Chris Rock wasn't going to strike him back. You, everyone knows if you go up to Chris Rock and strike him, he's, he's probably not going to strike you back. It's, you're Will Smith. That's exactly why he did that just because he said a joke about jada being bald in a gi joe kind of funny it was funny <laughs> i'm not gonna lie. that was kind of funny but it was not so hurtful that someone needs to get up there and you know and you know, slap him in front of everyone in the world and embarrass him just because he knew he could do it same thing same scenario with this guy here this maga hulk guy this stephen davis you go up to stephen davis 
That's a whole other story. You you cannot you ain't gonna pick him to slap. Nah, it's the last person you're gonna slap. And what? I'm gonna bail then myself what? out and go celebrate. <laughs> Depending on the state, he'd be able. He wouldn't even have to pay. Uh, Barkley again going on to say he would punch someone in the face, a black person, if they wore a T-shirt displaying this image here, the mugshot of the 45th president. Let's talk about it now with Stephen Davis. He's better known as MAGA Hulk, and he's back on National Report. Uh, hey, Stephen, nice to see. You. Just wanted to get your thoughts. What's your reaction to Charles Barkley? What he had to say. I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. As a person of, of his size, his, his platform, he should not be espousing such things. It's, it's egregious. He uh, needs to be more careful of the things that he says, and especially since there's a lot of impressionable people who are going to listen to this and try to enact the same thing, which I would definitely uh, um, uh, discourage uh, um, immensely, <laughs> if you will, yeah. especially with someone like me. But yeah. um, it's, it's actually rather interesting. This is coming from a person, the same person who once called Trump supporters crazy, right? I mean, who's the who's the crazy person now, Charles? You know, as you sound like the, the, the typical, the prototypical unhinged leftist suffering from TDS, Trump arrangement syndrome. So this is a great- Yeah, just, spot on, he, spot on there, Stephen. Correct. When you go to a Trump rally, you've seen a bunch of people protesting against Trump being there, having his little speeches. When you go to a Biden rally, you don't see MAGA supporters coming out by the hundreds to say, hey, we don't like Biden. He's a, he's a right. He's this, he's all this through the books. Like liberals love to do. It's different. It's different standards. The conservatives do not go after the liberals. Like the liberals go after the conservatives, more specifically Donald J. Trump. That's how it is guys. It's just how it always is for some reason, but still MAGA supports Trump supports anyone who supports Trump. They're the ones causing the problems. They're the ones causing all these riots and attacking people. Forget about Antifa. Forget about all of them. Right. He knows better than to say something like this, and uh, I hope that uh, people don't take him uh, literally in this regard because they're going to land in a lot of legal trouble when they don't have the bail money to bail themselves out. This is absolutely ridiculous, and I think he needs to retract this. Yeah, Stephen, I, w I wanted to, to stay on that point. You know how you, you have these conversations on text messaging with someone, and it doesn't come out or read the way um, that it would if you had the verbal conversation. So that's how I look at this moment. You see the laughs and its banter between, uh, uh, again, uh, Gail King, Charles Barkley. You've got a live audience. Everyone's laughing. But if you actually took a transcript of what was said, um, would it be fair to say that there was a... Uh, there, there was racism used, again, only targeting a certain race, black people, and mm -hmm. violence threatened, oh, yeah. again, hitting <laughs> someone in the face. If you just read that, that's what you would see. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's what's so ridiculous about this whole situation. No one's going to call this out. No one's going to talk about he's promoting the idea of black on black crime. He's not going to call this out and say no one's going to call this out, especially on the left, and say that this is egregious, that he's, you shouldn't promote the idea of violence, you know, particularly against a certain race of people who wear a particular shirt at that. I mean, this is this is absolutely ridiculous. And if we really parse this out, and if anyone else, if, let's let's be completely honest. If anyone on the right ever said something of this magnitude, especially in regards to any Biden supporter, this would be on twenty four seven, you know, twenty four seven coverage. This they would not let go of this. But it's okay when Charles Barkley talks about a Trump supporter or talks about some type, some type of person, especially within the black community, who's supporting Trump. Who yeah, he's one hundred percent right. I mean, look at these individuals. Right, blacks for Trump. They act like there is no such thing out there. They're unicorns, but there's millions of blacks for Trumps, Hispanics for Trumps, Asians for Trumps, people who actually use their mind to say, hey, uh, I think Trump might be better than this guy who could barely have a coherent speech that has to read from, you know, cards where he has pre planned uh, conversations with individuals and it's not even the opposing side, like people with Fox News and Peter Ducey, if he ever does take a question from him or someone with that organization he he goes around and does this stuff and disrespects other you know heads of state in other countries don't shake in their hands doing all this stuff walking off stage doing all this stuff because he's old right they don't want to play like oh he's just old and seen that's what old people do even though his dod when they gave him an examination they say oh well he's kind of old he's in those ages he's not functioning right he's you know because he's always an old nice man right but he can still be an old nice man and not know nothing and run the country, right? 
even though Trump is practically the same age. And if you put them two on two debate, Trump's going to wipe him with the floor. I mean, you don't know Biden's defense is going to be, what? What'd you say? And you know, laugh or whatever you call it, corn pop on the stage or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> whatever, you know, it's just the two are completely different people. You can't put them side by side and say, well, who is more functionally there in their right mind? Everyone's going to go well, with Trump, obviously, right? Yeah. is representing Trump and his mugshot. Yeah. You know, it, it's absolutely sad to see, but this is the unhinged actions and rhetoric of a person who's embodying the leftist mentality. That, like I said, the prototypical unhinged leftist mm. suffering from TBS. Just, a, and that's exactly just wanted to point to out, Gail King, you watch, she tried to get him. She knew that, uh, okay, you're in dangerous water. Let me get you out. You <laughs> didn't mean it. He doubled down. Yeah, he no, I mean it. No, I mean it. No, I mean it. Really, Charles. Really. Really. I, I dare you to go fight that MAGA Hulk, dude. That is it's not going to be something you're going to easily forget. You're going to remember that in the hospital. Like, oh, I messed up. I shouldn't have threatened these Trump supporters and picked the wrong one. They actually called me out on my BS. Why did I follow through on that? You know what I'm saying? Because the left can say stuff like this and it has really no repercussions, right? But when the right says something like that, especially when it's you know, like that guy was saying in the text message version, text message version, you don't know who's saying where is the black guy, white guy, an Asian guy. You just know that, hey, this is racist, right? Here. This is racist calling out a group of people saying that you're going to attack them because they're wearing a certain kind of merch. That's straight up racism through and through. Just because you're on the left and you're black doesn't mean you're not racist. That's still racist. You can't cut it. You know, there's a hundred ways to you know, skin a cat. You know what I'm saying? If it's bad for the right, it's bad for the left. We should see it like that. But that's not how it's seen. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know a video about old Charles Barkley and MAGA Hulk. Does he stand a chance? Nah, I doubt it. Like, comment, subscribe to us if you see you on the next one.